Many National Guard members have returned home. I'm Jill Horner. This is Comcast to Local Edition. With me this hour is United States Congressman Rush Holt, serving New Jersey's 12th Congressional District. Thanks so much for being with us. Jill, good to be with you. You had a recent trip where you visited the Middle East as well as England. Talk to us a little bit about actually visiting the troops, many of whom have actually been able to return home. I accompanied the House Speaker Pelosi uh, visiting uh, Kuwait, Qatar, uh, Jordan, and uh, the, the destination of the trip, uh, our troops in Iraq. I presented them with a banner that had been signed by hundreds, I guess thousands of folks from New Jersey wishing them well. Uh, and uh, we met with officials uh, in Iraq as well. You are actually uh, a senior member of the House Committee on Intelligence and the chair of the Select Intelli Intelligence Oversight Panel. What was the importance of actually speaking with leaders like Iraqi leaders, like Jordanian leaders in this trip? The King of Jordan, uh, the government of Qatar, uh, a number of countries in the region are uh, important to us as we try to protect ourselves uh, and in providing for regional security. So we talked with them about the assistance they provide our troops by providing bases or Jordan, for example, and uh, the, the uh, uh, training uh, they provide there and the care that they give for refugees that come from Iraq. Um, the troops, uh, I uh, particularly enjoyed meeting. Many of them were counting the days until they were returning to New Jersey, and now we've welcomed some of them back. Um, I told them that it it was their job to provide the competence, the dedication uh, to, to do their work, and it was our job to see that they had what they needed to do their job. And it was also our job to see that when they returned to the United States, we provided for them. We have a long-standing commitment to provide health care to veterans and education, and we've now passed and signed into law the largest increase in educational benefits for veterans, particularly those returning from Iraq and Afghanistan, the largest increase since the original GI Bill back in the 1940s, which laid the groundwork for decades of economic prosperity by investing in the education of the returning veterans. That's some of what is happening stateside, but let's talk a little bit about the work that was undertaken by these men and women while serving in the Middle East. Some of the challenges that the Iraqi government is facing right now uh, with the Status force, uh, Forces Agreement, American troops pulling out, is the Iraqi government at this point able to take control of cities in Iraq and maintain safety and security and be able to root out corruption? Well, uh, those are the key questions. There's no question. Everyone agrees the U.S. combat troops are pulling out. Uh, they're out of cities more or less now or within weeks. They'll be out of the country by next year. Uh, everyone agrees on that. Uh, the American generals, the American enlisted uh, men and women. Uh, and also the Iraqi officials. Uh, I can't be so sure that the Iraqi officials will be in a position to stamp out corruption, uh, to have uh, equitable regional governance. Uh, that's what we talked with them about, because that's what they need to do. Our combat forces can't do that for them. And I think that their situation will be improved uh, as we withdraw. Uh, and partly because they will have to improve. You also met with King Abdullah of Jordan. Talk to us a little bit about the strategic relationship between the U.S. and the Jordanian people. It's been a relationship now for 50 years. Why is this critical in furthering uh, work within the Middle East? You know, it's critical in our relations uh, to help Israel. It's critical in our relations to uh, bring stability uh, to Iraq. It's critical in our relations uh, with the Saudis and the other countries. King Abdullah is a good strategic friend uh, of the United States, uh, as I mentioned before. Uh, in Jordan, they provide training. Uh, they're the, the, they've taken in lots of refugees from Iraq. Uh, they play a very important role, and the king personally plays an important role. So in my role as uh, chair of this intelligence oversight panel, uh, we had some really very productive talks with him. All right, thanks so much. Thank you. Jill. We've been talking with the United States Congressman Rush Holt. I'm Jill Horner for Comcast Local Edition.